Hey y'all, welcome back to the Fire and Water Cooking Channel. I am Darren, of course, and today, hey, another grill unboxing. This one's a little bit different, though. This is the Rectech Bullseye RT380X. And this is kind of a different grill. Actually, a different grill company for me. I've never had a Rectech product before. Heard a lot of good things about them. But we're going to take a look at this. I'll show you what the difference is in this right as I get it out of the box. I'll be right back. Smoking, grilling. Getting hot and hotter, sous vide and chill from fire and water. All right, guys, before I start getting into these boxes, I just kind of want to give you a little rundown of what this grill is. If you're not familiar with Rectech, they've been around for uh, many years now and they've been based out of uh, around uh, Athens, Georgia, and they've started. Uh, getting a lot more uh, innovative in their grill offerings. And this here, they had a bullseye before, and the bullseye is there. It looks kind of like a kettle grill, but it's a pellet-based kettle grill. And they've had this, uh, that came out with well, the first one about three or four years ago, I want to say, uh, maybe even two years ago. Uh, the kind of standard one that just had a regular PID controller. Well, this one has Wi-Fi built in. They've actually amped up the uh, temperature on this, what this can reach. This one can actually reach a thousand degrees is what they say. It's Wi-Fi based. It's still round. Bullseye, that's where they get the bullseye from. It's round like a kettle. So it does that really uh, grill pellet grill instead of just pellet smoker like a lot of the pellet smokers out there they really can't reach high temperatures this one's going to be able to reach up to a thousand degrees they say and we're going to put that to the test but i'm looking forward to this guys because you know i've had a few pellet grills come and go on this deck as you know and i like them up to a point but i really haven't found the one that i'm really in love with i got this one because what i really want this to do is fill in when I need something that I want to be able to control from far away, but also have something that I can turn on really quick, get it hot really fast, sear something up without having to, you know, get the charcoal going and all that. So we're going to see how this does. It's a little bit more compact than, than most of the other pellet grills out there as well. So if you are short on space, it's going to be able to fill that, that need as well. I'm going to get this unboxed. I'm going to put it together. I'm not going to bore you with it. But once I get it all put together, I'll go over it, show you all the features and all that. And then I'll do some other videos on cooking it, I'm sure. But right now, I'm going to get it all unboxed, get it put together. Then when I'm done, I'll come back on camera and kind of walk you through uh, what exactly this is. All right, guys, so after about 40 minutes or so, here it is all put together. The worst part was probably the legs and the bottom shelf. They took the most time uh, putting the lid on and adjusting it so it was flush. That would take a couple, couple minutes as well, but it was really easy uh, to do that as well. So let's go over it, go inside a little bit. Got 100% stainless steel grate here, which is good. Your uh, temperature probe is right here at great level you got a cast iron heat deflector that's really heavy duty that's going to help spread that heat out amongst the uh inside the uh, pit here you got these vents all around the sides of the uh, lid that's going to help with the uh, the heat flowing out and smoke as well your folding front shelf locks into place it's got a couple pressure clips that um, you can press to fold it down you got your ash dump here which empties the fire pot ashes and puts it in the uh, ashtray you can just dump that out really easy let's go back in and look at that fire pot real quick uh, it's a totally redesigned fire pot if you look at it it kind of concentrates that flame that's where we're going to get that higher heat function from and it also you can clean this out really easy here um, you can also probably put some heavy duty foil down to capture grease if you wanted to on there but um Overall, it's a really efficient looking fire pot and cook area for sure. So you got an 18 pound hopper here and it's actually locks down. It's got a little clip on there. It comes with this little uh, protector you can have in there or not. I'm going to probably remove mine. It's got some high heat gasket uh, putty around the edges here. Uh, like I said, it's an 18 pound hopper. So almost a full bag of pellets will fit in there. You got your 
food probe right here. One food probe is really all you need with a grill lift size so you can monitor the internal temperatures of your food. Uh, this Wi-Fi base controller is also a 5G controller, so it'll work on both 2.4 and 5G. It has locking casters on the pellet hopper side and then two stationary wheels. Uh, I really like the stainless steel. It looks really cool. I like the logos on here. The logos on pretty much uh, every part of the stainless steel. So on your lid for your hopper, the lid for the grill, and your uh, front shelf. So... Like I said, guys, I think this is going to be a really good tool for what I want it for. The size, the uh, ability to sear is really great. Let's take a look at the uh, app now. All right, guys, so we're going to take a look at the app now. And like I said, this is one of the only uh, pellet grills I've ever had that will do dual band. So you can do it on 5G or 2.4. Uh, four gigahertz so it's uh really cool it it's easy to set up but actually when you turn on your bluetooth um, when you fire the app up initially it'll really walk you right through setting that grill up it takes like maybe three seconds it was really super easy um it's got everything built in the, the actual control uh, all the control for temperatures monitoring the temperature the internal temperature your meat all kinds of uh, charts and history you can go back through and look at how your temp your temps worked on your uh, previous cooks it's got built-in recipes all kinds of stuff uh, notes section so it's a really um, well-made app as far as I can tell I've used it a couple times already <laughs> went through it uh, pretty much head to toe and I, I say it's a really great app um, like I said, the best part of it was it was really super easy to hook it up to the Wi-Fi. It really took literally less than two minutes. All right, guys, so my first test with it was searing up some sous vide steaks that I had uh, prepared. So look at that heat deflector and how red it's glowing right there where the fire pot is. I uh, had this set up to 700 degrees. I didn't want to blow it out at 1,000, but it worked really, really well. It got these seared up just fine. You can see that it was rendering that fat from the uh, picanha steaks, and it was catching fire. So super, super excited, super impressed with it. Well, there you have it, guys, the new Rectech RT380X. I think you're going to like it. It fits, uh, checks a lot of boxes for me. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next video.